Mga ka Web3 crew, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ito talaga yung part na sobrang naaliwa ko dahil mas marami tayong nakikilala at mas marami tayong natutunan. Ayan, so andito na tayo, kakausapin na natin ang isa pa nating attendees. Can you tell us your name, your profession? And ang ganda no, nakita niyo yun. And the company that you're working with. Okay, hello. My name is Dana Etani. I go by Dana today on social media and I am a film director, producer and editor. I do independent work for now and I am currently working on a series of nine documentaries, each nine minute long about women achievements in the Middle East. That's good. I can't wait to watch that as well. So let's talk about the event. What brought you here? So as a filmmaker, I always like to be around different content creators because I also make content about behind the scenes of what I'm doing. So I like to be here, meet creatives, meet different people, and just be involved in this space in Dubai. Dubai is booming with creators, so I love to meet them. Let's talk about AI. What can you say about AI in general? AI in general is, is, is a thing that can be used for something good. AI is, is just something like, like any other technology we have. It's just all about the way that you use it. Any AI assisted apps or programs have you used? Uh, yes, I have used uh, ChatGPT for different like ideas or if I want to rewrite something or you know just kind of make something sound a little bit better, sassier, you know, give me a little bit of a change. I use ChatGPT. If I want to visualize like a movie poster, mm -hmm. I did that for the Iron Woman, I'll use Midjourney just to kind of see what kind of possibilities it can put for me and then, you know, open up different uh, creative sides maybe. How did AI affect your life? It made it a little easier. You know, I'm still not heavily into AI, but just a little bit the visual, visualization that I was talking about, it helps with kind of cutting some corners here and there in the creative process. What do you think is the future of AI? The future of AI, I think that it's going to be such a normal part of everybody's use in all different kinds of industries, not just the creative industry. Um, I do think that there will always be the need for humans. It's just going to be about how we use that AI to get things done faster and in a more efficient way. What applications of AI are you most excited about and why? Um, I'm excited about Runway. I'm excited about a way that we can use AI for video, so not just image generation, but a way that I can be you know, walking and change my background and change what I'm wearing. Um, and right now it's still in early phases, so I want to see that how it'll be for mainstream and how it'll affect independent filmmakers to make really cool videos and films in a cheaper way. How has AI impacted your life in general, your work and your life in general? It's giving me um, more possibilities and just being involved in, in, in Web3, AI, in this new technology, um, it's really given me like a positive thing to look forward to in uh, my profession as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. yeah. And last, what is the most important information you learned today at NAS Summit? That's a good one. Um, today, I really learned about how you need to expand your profession. You know, it's not just about the work that you do as a creative. It's different ways that you can use that to have different incomes, different projects going on in your life, and just being a well-rounded professional person like that. Thank you so Thank much. You. And do you have anything to promote? Any social media accounts or your job? Uh, yeah. Yeah, danatoday.com. That's where you can see my film, The Iron Woman. Follow me on all my Dana Today accounts. I post a lot of behind the scenes about my creative process. And I hope you'll learn with me as well. Thank you so much, mga ka-FOMO. Marami pa tayong may interview. So, dito lang yan. FOMO, the future of money.